In present video, I am going to explain about fifth problem from comparable topic. So I am making this video for degree students. Let us see the question first. Rahim of Gulbarga sold goods on behalf of Ramdas of Nijamabad on consignment basis. Rahim had with him 50 chests of tea at the rate of 200 rupees per chest. Goods sent on consignment were 150 chests of tea at the rate of 220 rupees per chest. Rahim had instructions to sell the goods at cost plus 25%. Rahim's remuneration being 5% on sales. Sales made by Rahim 45,000 rupees. Cash sales 40,000 and the credit sale 5,000. Rahim's expenses relating to the consignment were 1,500 being salaries and insurance. One customer didn't pay 500 rupees because of certain defects in packing which spoiled certain goods. We are required to prepare the necessary ledger accounts in the books of both the parties. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. Important points of the problem I have written on the board. Rahim of Gulbarga is selling goods on behalf of Ramdas of Nijamaba. Means Ramdas is Kandaina, Rahim is Kansaini. Rahim had 50 chests of tea at the rate of 200 rupees each. So chest means a wooden box in which tea is packed. So one wooden box, one chest price is 200 rupees. So this is called opening stock. So previous consignment to closing stock becomes opening stock for current consignment. So already Rahim had 50 chests at the rate of 200. And during this consignment, Ramda sent 150 chests of tea at the rate of 220 rupees each. So total how much worth of goods Rahim is having? 10,000 plus 33,000, 43,000. Rahim has to sell these goods at a cost plus 25%. So these are the instructions given by consignor to consignee. Total sales amount 45,000. How many chests are sold for 45,000? There is no information in the question. So whether unsold stock is there or not, we have to find out. In this 45,000, cash sale is 40,000, credit sale is 5,000. Consignee's expenditure, salary and insurance, 1,500 rupees. So there are some defects in packing. Because of that, some goods were damaged. So one customer didn't pay 500 rupees to us. Means this is loss. So this is not like bad debt. So in case of bad debt, which rule we follow if Del Kader commission is allowed to consignee, then consignee has to bear bad debt loss. If Del Kader commission is not allowed to consignee, then consignor has to bear the bad debt loss. That rule we follow now. But there is no relation between Del Kader commission and this loss. So this loss arises because of poor packing. No? Consignor has to take the responsibility of this. So 500 loss consignor has to bear. On total sales, consignee's commission is 5%. So for this problem, in the books of both the parties, ledger is asking. First, ledger of Ramdas, consignor. So think from consignor's point of view. Three accounts he prepares now. Gulbarga consignment account, Rahim account, goods and on consignment account. So in previous videos, I have given introduction about these three accounts. Previous videos, links are available in the description box. So let us directly start the problem. First is for opening stock. So previous consignment closing stock, we record on credit side of consignment account by consignment stock. So for current consignment, you have to bring that stock. We side, debit side. So debit side, you have to write to consignment stock account. In brackets, this is opening stock. Mention that. 50 chess at the rate of 200 rupees each, 10,000 rupees. Next, goods and on consignment entry. Consignment account data, goods and on consignment account. In consignment account, debit side, we have to post two goods and on consignment account. 150 chess at the rate of 220 each, 33,000 rupees. So, in goods and on consignment account, credit side, we should post now. Buy Gulbarga consignment account. 33,000 rupees. 
So if you want to know how this entry is coming, then refer previous videos. Next, consignors expenses are not given. Consignee sold the goods for 45,000 rupees. In this, cash sale is 40,000, credit sale is 5,000. What is the general entry for sales? Rahim account data to Gulbarga consignment account. Sales amount 45,000 rupees. Cash sale, credit sale. You need not to show separately in consignor's books. Because for these two sales, finally consign is only the data that directly we wrote. In consignment account, credit said we should post this. By Rahim account, 45,000 rupees. In Rahim account, debit said to Gulbarga consignment account, 45,000. Next, consign is expenditure. Entry. Gulbarga consignment account data to consignee's account. So in Gulbarga consignment debit side to consignee Rahim to Rahim account 1500 rupees. In Rahim account credit side by Gulbarga consignment account 1500. Next, some goods are defective and a customer refused to pay 500 rupees. This is loss. So loss means in consignment account, debit side we should write now, means while writing the general entry, Gulbarga consignment account should be debited with the 500 rupees. Finally, who should bear this loss? Consignor. So for this 500, consignee is not responsible. If you see this sales entry, we debited a consignee's account with 45,000 because consignee has to pay 45,000. When one customer refuses to pay 500 rupees, when finally that last consignor is bearing, how much we should get from consignee? 45,000 minus 500, 44,500. So 500 we are to reduce from Rahim's account. So Rahim is not a data for 500 rupees. So we created Rahim data account by debiting. If you want to cancel, you have to credit. I want to cancel 500 rupees from Rahim's account. Therefore, credit Rahim account with 500. So finally, Rahim is a debtor for 45,000 minus 500, 44,500. So this is just like bad debt treatment. When debt credit commission is not allowed to consignee, consignor has to bear the bad debt now. In fourth problem, clearly explain that. So in the same manner, you have to deal with this loss also. Let us post it in consignment account debit side to Rahim account in consignee's account credit side by Gulbarga consignment account 500 rupees. Next is for consignee's commission entry Gulbarga consignment account data to Rahim account in Gulbarga consignment account debit side to Rahim account sales amount 45,000 on that 5%. 2,250 in Rahim account credit set by Gulbarga consignment account 2,250 so everything is completed finally whether there is any unsold stock or not we should observe stock with Rahim opening stock 50 chess at the rate of 200 each 10,000 rupees plus 150 chess at the rate of 220 33,000 total 43,000 rupees so the cost price of total goods with the consignee is 43,000 rupees and consignee had one instruction that is he has to sell the goods at cost plus 25 percent profit so total sales value is 45,000 so this is sale value is 125 percent then cost price of these goods we should calculate if sales price is 125 rupees cost price is 100 if a sales price is 45,000 rupees, cost price is how much? 100 divided by 125 into 45,000 rupees is equal to 36,000 rupees. So, consignee sold goods now. So, these goods of cost price is 36,000 rupees. Then, total goods cost price 43,000, sold goods cost price 36,000. Then remaining value is, difference is the cost price of unsold stock. So in present problem there is unsold stock. 
unsold stock value we should calculate the cost price now so cost price of unsold stock is 7000 rupees actually speaking to this we have to add direct expenses of consignor and consignee but in present problem consignor expenses are not given consignee's expenses salary and insurance 1500 so salary and insurance is a recurring expenditure indirect expenditure so while calculating unsold stock value we should not consider therefore finally unsold stock value is 7000 rupees so this amount in consignment account credit side we have to show now 7000 rupees for unsold stock what to write by consignment stock account so what is the general entry for unsold stock consignment stock account data to Bulbarga consignment account so we are not preparing consignment stock account therefore second time posting you need not issue anyway so finally in consignment account we have to calculate profit or loss credit column total is 52,000 rupees minus debit column total 47,250 difference 4,750 is profit because credit side we wrote income debit side we wrote expenditure income is more than expenditure this profit debit side we should show because debit total is less for profit you have to write to profit and loss account two sides put that highest total 52,000 rupees credit side also same for profit entry is Gulbarga consignment account data to profit and loss account come to Rahim account in Rahim account find out the balance debit total is more than credit total in rough notes debit column total is 45,000 rupees minus credit total 4,250 difference 40,750 credit total is less credit side right of the same amount so this is the due amount paid by consignee to consignor in question he is not giving how this amount is paid so our assumption is consignee paid this amount through a bank draft therefore for this answer you have to write by bank account entry bank account data to rahim account consignee account is completed next goods and on consignment account by transferring to trading account you have to close this account to trading account 33000 rupees so consignor ledger is completed come to consignee's ledger ledger of rahim in consignee's books only one account he prepares ramdas account to know the due amount to consignor. Now, all transactions from consignee's point of view, we have to think because we are preparing ledger of consignee. Consignee has opening stock now 50 chests at the rate of 200 rupees each. Further, there is no entry because he records that information in stock register. Next, he received a 150 chests at the rate of 220. For that, also, there is no entry. Next, Kanzaini sold the goods for 45,000 rupees. In this, 40,000 is cash sale, 5,000 is credit sale. Entry for sale in Kanzaini's books is bank account data, cash sale amount 40,000, data account data 5,000, to Ramdas account. In previous problems, I explained clearly how this entry is coming. So in present problem, directly I am writing the general entry. Ramdas account is created. Therefore, credit side we should post by bank account 40,000 rupees by debtors account 5,000 rupees. Next, consignee's expenditure. Entry, Ramdas account data to bank account. So in Ramdas account, debit side to bank account. Amount. 1500 rupees. One debtor refused to pay 500 rupees. So, this 500 finally consignor has to bear now. In sales entry, we wrote that Ramdas is a creditor for 45,000 rupees. We have to pay 45,000 rupees to consignor. But 500 we need not to pay. So, that 500 we should cancel from Ramdas account. We created Ramdas liability account by crediting. If you want to cancel 500, you should debit Ramdas account with 500 rupees. Ramdas account data 500. From data's 5000 should come. 
some 500 is not coming means the remaining 4500 we receive so our assumption is we received through a check therefore bank account item debiting with 4500 so in this data amount 4500 k 500 is not going to come so both when we wrote this data record will get cancelled by debiting we created data record if you want to cancel you have to credit data account should be credited with 5000 rupees ramdas account is debited now so in ramdas account debit side we should post to data account 500 rupees finally consign is commission here we calculated 2250 in consignee's books entries, Ramdas account data to commission account. Debit side to commission account. 2250. Everything is completed. Finally, find out the due amount. Credit column total 45,000. Debit column total 4,250. Difference 40,750. Debit total is less. Debit side right on this. Our assumption is consignee is paying this amount through DD now. Therefore, write down bank account for the totals. So, ledger of consignment, consignment, both are completed. So, this is all about fifth problem from consignment topic. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.